Radamel Falcao. Radamel Falcao Garcia Zarat, commonly known simply as Radamel Falcao, Falcao Garcia or Falcao in South America, is a Colombian football striker, who plays for AS Monaco in the French Ligue 1 and represents the Colombian national football team. He is sometimes nicknamed as El Tigre and King of the Europa League. Falcao has been cited among the top strikers in the world. Falcao surpassed Jurgen Klinsmann's record of 15 goals, 17, in a single annual club football European competition UEFA Champions League UEFA Europa League campaign in 2011. He also played a key role in guiding FC Porto to a second Europa League title, as well as finishing undefeated in the 2010-11 Primera Liga season. In July 2011, Falcao received the Portuguese Golden Ball Award, becoming the first Colombian to do so. He came fifth in the 2012 FIFA Ballon d'Or. He was named in the FIFA 11 for 2012. In his first three seasons in European football, Falcao scored over 100 goals. Falcao had played a key role in Atletico Madrid's 12-match winning streak in a single Europa League season, making it the first team to do so. He also became the top goal scorer in both tournaments. Falcao won his first UEFA Super Cup in 2012, becoming the first player in history to score a hat-trick in the contest since its reform in 1998. On December 9, 2012, Falcao scored five goals in one game in a 6-0 home victory against Deportivo de la Coruna. In the 2013 Copa del Rey final, Falcao played a crucial part in Atletico Madrid's victory over Real Madrid, ending the 14-year unbeaten streak which Real Madrid had held in matches against Atletico prior to the final. Club career Lance Rose Falcao made his debut for Lanceros Boyaca in the Colombian Categoria Primera B, second tier, on August 28, 1999 at the age of 13 years and 199 days, thus becoming the youngest debutant at that level of Colombian professional football. In 2000, Lanceros coach, Hernan Pacheco, began to consider the 14-year-old more seriously. Falcao played seven matches that year. On July 25, at the Estadio Olímpico del Sol at Sojamoso, he scored his first and only goal for the club, to seal a 2-0 win against Club El Condor that took Lanceros off the bottom of the table. In his two years with the club, he played eight matches and scored once. River Plate After training with Millonarios, who did not take up their option to purchase the player, Falcao was sold to River Plate of Argentina in February 2001 for a $500,000 fee, which fell to $175,000 when the Argentine currency was devalued. He began his River career in the youth team, playing in the 8th division of Argentine football. River coach Leonardo Astrada gave Falcao his professional debut in the 2005 Torneo Clausura in a game that the club lost 2-1 to Gymnasia. Falcao became a regular in the first team during the 2005 Torneo Apertura. He scored twice in a match for the first time in Argentina, on October 2 in a game against Independiente that finished as a 3-1 win for River. He repeated the feat twice more during the Apertura, against Lenas, his brace contributed to a 4-1 home win, and against San Lorenzo, River won 5-1. This brought his total for the competition to seven from as many games under the management of Reynaldo Melo, who gave Falcao the trust he needed to establish himself in the team. In the match against San Lorenzo in November, Falcao injured the ligaments of his right knee and missed the remainder of the apertura. Then, during pre-season training in January 2006, he sustained more serious damage to the same knee which required surgery and was expected to keep him out for at least six months. He returned to the field in September, soon after the start of the 2006 Torneo Apertura, in which he made 12 appearances, mainly as a substitute. He scored just once, to seal a 2-0 win against Rosario Central that took River clear at the top of the table. A few days earlier he made his debut in Kumebel competition in the last eight of the 2006 Copa Sudamericana against Atletico Paranaense of Brazil. 
he was replaced at half-time, and the match finished 2-2, so River were eliminated on aggregate, having lost the home leg 1-0. He was sent off in his only outing in the 2007 Copa Libertadores, against Colo Colo in February 2007. Domestically, he made little impression on the 2007 Tornio Clausera. He scored in only one of the eight games he played, River's first two goals as they beat Racing Club 4-2 away from home. Falcao scored his first professional hat-trick on September 28, 2007, as River made a historic comeback against Botafogo to progress in the 2007 Sudamericana. The following week, he scored his first goal in a Superclasico, the first of River's goals as they beat Boca Juniors 2-0. River was reported to have rejected a $15 million offer from Milan for Falcao in early 2008, as well as bids from clubs including Aston Villa and Fluminense. He was a key player as Diego Simeone led River to the 2008 Torneo Clausura Championship, his first domestic title, and his performances meant he was linked with moves to a variety of clubs. Nevertheless, he remained with River as they suffered the worst campaign in their history finishing bottom of the 2008 Torneo Apertura. In 2009, River Plate had a difficult start, they were eliminated in the group stage of the Copa Libertadores 2009 and won few games at the beginning of the 2009 Torneo Clausura. Redemo retained his eye for goal, and was instrumental in Nesta Garosito's plans, having matured as a striker over the previous two years scoring more than 30 goals in domestic competition and more than 10 in coup medal tournaments. Porto 2009 October season Falcao moved to Europe when he joined the Portuguese Giants FC Porto on July 15, 2009 for a fee of EU 3.93 million for 60% economic rights after Porto sold striker Lisandro Lopez to Olympique Lyonnais. In the transaction, Porto also sold Mario Bolotti for EU 1.5 million to a third party owner, Natland Financia BV, in exchange for 35% economic rights of Falcao. Curiously, Falcao was about to sign for Porto rivals Benfica days before, but the reluctance of its leaders to pay an additional EU 700,000 requested by Falcao dictated the end of negotiations. Days later, Falcao joined Porto. He made his debut against Pecos de Ferreira on the opening day of the season and scored an important goal to earn the team a draw. He went on to score three goals in as many games, making him one of the few to score four goals in the first four match days in the Portuguese league. On September 15, he made his UEFA Champions League debut in a 1-0 away defeat against Chelsea. Falcao would later score a brilliant header to defeat rivals Sporting Clube de Portugal on the sixth match day, giving his team a 1-0 home victory. Four days later, on September 30, he scored his first Champions League goal in a group stage win over Atletico Madrid. On February 2, 2010, Falcao scored twice in a Portuguese Cup quarter-finals victory against rivals Sporting Camp. In the same month, he scored the victory goal against Arsenal in a UEFA Champions League round of 16 match, being his fourth goal in the tournament. On April 3, Falcao scored a brace against Maritimo, and turned into the highest goal scorer of the Portuguese league with 20 goals, but he would finish the season as the second highest league scorer with 25 goals, behind only Benfica's Oscar Cardozo, who had 26. He scored another goal in his last game of the season the Portuguese Cup final, where Porto won 2-1 against Grupo de Sportivo Chaves. He wrapped up the campaign with a career-high 34 goals in all competitions. 2010 November season Falcao made an impressive start to the 2010 November season, scoring a goal in the 2010 Portuguese Super Cup 2-0 victory over Benfica. He scored his first two league goals on the second match day of the season against Beramar on August 22, 2010. On November 7, he scored twice, one of them an impressive backheel goal, in a 5-0 victory against the defending champions Benfica, and later, on December 2, 
Falcao scored his first hat-trick for Porto against Rapid Wien during a UEFA Europa League clash, becoming the top goal scorer of the competition with 17 goals. On April 7, 2011, Falcao scored another hat-trick in the quarter-final of the Europa League against Russian side Spartak Moscow, which was won by the Portuguese team by a score of 5-1, to bring his goal tally in the tournament to 10. In the 2010 November season, Porto won the league title in round 25 of the league against rivals and defending champions Benfica at the Estadio da Luz. He played a key role in that match, winning his team a penalty when the match was tied at 1-1. The penalty was scored by teammate Hulk. In the match against Spartak Moscow in the Europa League, Falcao scored a hat-trick and provided an assist in a 5-1 win. In the second leg, he scored another goal and provided another assist that took Porto to the tournament semi-final stage. He further added to his position as top scorer in the competition by scoring four goals in the semi-final first leg against Villarreal CF, a game which finished 5-1 in favour of Porto. In the UEFA Europa League final against domestic rivals Brugge, Falcao scored the only goal of the game with a header after a cross from Freddy Guerin, giving the title to Porto. He set a new goal-scoring record of 17 goals in 14 games during the 2010-11 UEFA Europa League, surpassing Jurgen Klinsmann's previous record of 15 goals. In July 2011, he extended his contract with an added EU 45 million buyout clause. Porto paid a commission of EU 6,585,150 to extend the contract. Atletico Madrid 2011 December season On August 18, 2011, Porto announced they had agreed a fee with Atletico Madrid for the transfer of Falcao. The transfer fee was EU 40 million with the fee potentially rising by EU 10 million based on performance-based clauses, making him the most expensive player in the club's history. Falcao made his Atletico debut on September 10 away to Valencia CF, playing the full 90 minutes in a 1-0 defeat. On November 3, Falcao netted a goal in Atletico's 4-0 triumph over Ardennese, the goal meant that Falcao had scored 19 goals in his last 18 Europa League games. Falcao's second hat-trick in La Liga came on January 21, 2012, when he led his team to a 4-0 victory against Real Sociedad at the Anoeta Stadium. On February 16, Falcao scored twice and assisted a goal in an away game against Lazio to progress to the round of 16 in the Europa League. In the second leg of Atletico's round of 16 clash against Turkish giants Besiktas, Falcao scored one goal and provided another in a 3-0 victory, advancing 6-1 on aggregate. On March 21, Falcao netted a second half double to propel his side to a 2-1 victory over Athletic Bilbao and keep Atletico in the race for European places. Falcao scored another goal sealing a 3-0 victory over GTF CF in both legs of the Europa League quarter-final tie versus Hanover 96, Falcao managed to score a goal for each leg, helping Atletico seal a 4-2 aggregate victory and increasing his goal tally to 8 in the competition. Falcao played his first Madrid derby against Real Madrid on April 11, 2012. He had missed the first match at the Santiago Bernabéu due to injury, and scored Atletico's only goal as his side fell 4-1 thanks to a Cristiano Ronaldo hat-trick. He scored his 22nd goal of the season against Rayo Vallecano in a crucial 1-0 victory for Atletico Madrid. For the first leg of the 2011-12 Europa League semi-finals against Valencia CF, Falcao scored a double in a 4-2 victory while making Atletico the first team to win 10 straight matches in a single Europa League season. Falcao added to his Europa League tally in the final against fellow La Liga side Athletic Bilbao, netting Atletico's opening two goals in a 3-0 triumph at the Arena Nacionala in Bucharest on May 9, 2012. In doing so, Falcao not only became the top goal scorer in a Europa League season again but became the first player in history to win two consecutive Europa League titles with two different teams. In all competitions, Falcao had scored a record of 36 goals for Atletico Madrid, 
the highest amount by any player in a first season playing for the club. 2012-13 season Falcao scored two hat-tricks at the start of the 2012-13 season. First in the La Liga game against 2012 Europa League finalists Athletic Bilbao, and the second in the defeat of Chelsea, winning the 2012 UEFA Super Cup by a score of 4-1, on August 31, 2012. At the same time, Falcao became the first player in history to score a hat-trick in a UEFA Super Cup final in its current format. The original format was two-legged before turning into a single-legged final format in 1998. On September 16, Falcao scored what turned out to be the decisive goal from the penalty spot in a 4-3 win over Rayo Vallecano, and did the same a week later against Real Valladolid before going off at half-time in order to avoid a possible groin injury. Falcao scored a double in a 4-2 away victory over Real Betis, converting a cross for the first and then converting a penalty, putting him to the top of the goal-scoring charts in La Liga with seven goals. Falcao scored a wonderful header against Malaga CF and forced Malaga defender Wee Ligton to score an own goal, pushing Atletico to victory in the final minute. He scored once again in the away fixture to Real Sociedad after the international break, this time with a rare free kick, his first professional free kick goal, in the 90th minute, winning the match 1-0. In a game against Sevilla FC, Falcao scored a penalty and assisted another goal in a 4-0 victory. The strike marked his 50th goal for Atletico Madrid. In the match against Deportivo de la Coruna on December 9, Falcao scored an astonishing five goals, becoming the first player in La Liga in over a decade to net five goals in a game. For his last goal of the 2012 calendar year, Falcao scored the opening goal against Spanish giants FC Barcelona in a 4-1 loss at the Camp Nou. Falcao missed the first La Liga match of 2013 due to an injury but returned in the second match against Real Zaragoza, where he scored a penalty. It was noted that Falcao struggled to maintain form during the match. In the first leg of the Copa del Rey quarter-finals against Real Betis, Falcao scored a header in a 2-0 victory. Falcao returned on February 3 after being injured for three weeks where he failed to make a comeback on his return against Real Betis in a 1-0 victory. In a 2-1 loss against Rayo Vallecano, Falcao scored in the 94th minute on the day of his birthday. Falcao finally played his first match of the 2012-13 Europa League in a 2-0 loss against Ruben Kazan. Falcao scored against Real Valladolid in a 3-0 victory. In the second leg against Kazan of the Europa League, Falcao scored a late goal but it was not enough to save Atletico from being knocked out on a 2-1 aggregate. Falcao scored a penalty in a 1-0 victory against Espanyol. Altetico was down to 10 men at this time. In the Copa de Rey semi-finals, Falcao scored against Sevilla FC in a 2-2 draw. Although Atletico advanced to the finals on a 4-3 aggregate as well as scoring twice before Sevilla. In the league match against Valencia CF, Valencia had scored a goal in the fourth minute stunning the home fans. However, Falcao responded with a goal of his own less than a minute later. The game however only ended 1-1. Falcao scored a double against Granada CF in a comfortable 5-0 victory. The second goal marked Falcao's 200th career goal, counting both club and nation. In an away match against Sevilla, Falcao scored the only goal in a 0-1 victory. In the Madrid derby against Real Madrid, Falcao scored Atletico's only goal once more in a 1-2 home loss. Falcao scored the last goal for Atletico in a 3-1 away victory over Celta de Virgo. The win also assured Atletico Madrid to appear in the UEFA Champions League for next season for the first time in four years. In Falcao's last match against FC Barcelona for the 2012-13 season, Falcao scored yet another goal in another 2-1 home loss. This made Falcao one of the few players to consecutive score against them in three out of four La Liga appearances between the current and last season. 2013 Copa del Rey Final In the 2013 Copa del Rey Final, 
Atletico Madrid were given one final chance of the season to beat their arch-rivals Real Madrid for the first time in 14 years. Cristiano Ronaldo opened the game with a header in the 14th minute. In the 35th minute, Falcao had a chance to run forward while surrounded by real players but did something different, after catching the ball, he pulled it backwards where two Real Madrid players bumped into one another, leaving just three surrounding him. He cut to the right side and delivered a pass to Diego Costa who shot low equalizing moments later. In extra time, Miranda scored the winning goal with a header from a corner in the 98th minute. Despite Falcao not scoring a single goal, he took the home team by surprise in committing to the role of playmaker rather than a striker role. Thus, he abandoned the typical pure striker role. This allowed Atletico to win the cup and defeat their arch rivals for the first time in 14 years. This is also Falcao's first domestic title with Atletico. AS Monaco On May 31, 2013, Atletico Madrid general manager Miguel Angel Gilbert Marin announced that the club will not stand in the way if Falcao decides to leave in the upcoming summer transfer window. On May 31, 2013, AS Monaco FC announced that they had reached an agreement with Atletico Madrid for a transfer. Falcao signed a five-year contract for an undisclosed fee, believed to be around EU 60 million, with his net annual salary at AS Monaco being reported to be around EU 18.2 million. Despite the Colombian showing optimism about his Monaco future, Falcao gave an emotional farewell to Atletico during a press interview expressing his enjoyment with the club and considering it to be the best time of his career. It is commonly believed that his third-party ownership had a stronger influence on his decision. On an interesting note, Falcao went on to say that part of his reason for choosing Monaco was to follow the footsteps of his idol, Thierry Henry. Monaco sporting director Vadim Vasilyev said that the acquisition of Falcao, one of the game's top strikers was a real coup for the club. 2013-14 season Falcao made his Ligue 1 debut in the first match against Girondins de Bordeaux, where he managed to score in the 88th minute, sealing a 2-0 victory. Against Montpellier HSC, Falcao opened the scoring board with a penalty kick. Monaco went on to win the game 4-1. In a match against Marseille, Falcao scored the equaliser in a 2-1 victory. In a match against FC Lorient, Falcao got an early penalty kick, scoring the winning goal in a 1-0 victory while still having issues to adapt to the new team of Monaco. Falcao managed to equalize with a diving header in a tough away match against French giants and current league champions Paris Saint-Germain. The game would later end 1-1 and keep Monaco on top of the league table. Days later, Falcao scored a double against Bastia in a 3-0 victory. This also brings his goal tally to 7 and making him top goal scorer in the Ligue 1. Falcao ended his four-game goal drought for Monaco in a 2-1 win over Olympique Lyon, scoring with an impressive chip. In a match against Evianthin and Gaillard, Falcao scored the equaliser in a 1-1 draw. On November 27, it was reported that Falcao failed to fully recover from a thigh injury prior to his last match for the club, and he was forced to miss the next four league matches. Falcao made his return after being subbed and within the second half against Valenciennes, where he missed a penalty kick and Monaco lost 1-2. Falcao started 2014 off by making his Coupe de France debut in a match against Vans OC, where he both assisted and scored a goal in a 2-3 victory. Falcao's second goal of the month came in the Coupe de France once more, where he scored a goal before being subbed off due to an injury in the first half against Mons Dorazeg's foot. On January 23, it was confirmed that Falcao suffered a knee injury and may miss the 2014 World Cup, while effectively ending his 2013-14 season entirely. Falcao went on to say that he was confident in a speedy recovery. Falcao also went on to say that he wanted to play in the match himself, and that Claudio Ranieri did not force him to. International career Early years 2005-2010 Falcao's national career was late in terms of chances and playing for the national team due to injuries around important events. 
he represented the under-17 national team and the under-20. Falcao was part of the team that won the 2005 edition of the South American Youth Champion. Eventually, his first major international tournament was of the 2005 U-20 World Cup. In the senior national team, Falcao's first goal came against Montenegro during the Kirin Cup held in Japan during 2007 at only 21 years of age, winning the match for Colombia 1-0. His second occurred later that year in a friendly against Peru. Falcao didn't score his third goal till 2008 against Nigeria in a 1-0 win. Falcao's first World Cup qualifying goal occurred in 2009, against Peru. His last goal for 2009 was against Venezuela in a friendly that ended 2-1 for Venezuela. Falcao didn't score another goal for Colombia until the following year in 2011 during a friendly against Ecuador. Falcao scored against Ecuador again a few months later in another friendly where he scored the winning goal on both occasions. 2011 Copa America Falcao's first Copa America, he missed the 2007 edition due to injuries, was upon him. Failing to score against Costa Rica and the host nation Argentina, Falcao stepped up scoring a double against Bolivia, causing Colombia to top their group surprising the host country Argentina, who were favorites to win the group. In the next round, Falcao made a mistake when taking a penalty kick against Peru. Shooting wide, Falcao dashed Colombia's hopes of reaching the semi-finals, as Peru were able to score two goals in extra time. 2014 World Cup Qualifiers Falcao's first match in the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers started off with a goal against Bolivia in the last minute of added time, giving Colombia the win. Under new management of the national team led by Argentine Jose Pecuman, Falcao scored a goal against Mexico in a friendly that ended 2-0. Falcao's talents were shown against Uruguay, scoring in the second minute to help Colombia win 4-0. In the same match, he assisted Juan Zuniga, sealing the 4-0 victory in the final minutes of stoppage time. Falcao scored again days later as well as providing an assist against Chile to help give Colombia a 3-1 away win which put them second in the table, one point behind Argentina. On October 12, 2012, Falcao scored both goals in a 2-0 victory over Paraguay. In Falcao's first game for 2013, he played in the qualifying match against Bolivia. Falcao scored in the final minutes of the game scoring the fourth goal. Falcao scored a penalty against Peru in the 13th minute where Colombia won 2-0. On October 11, 2013, in the penultimate World Cup qualifying match against Chile, Falcao scored twice from penalty kicks to tie 3-3 after trailing 0-3. This result ensured Colombia qualified for the World Cup for the first time since 1998. Falcao ended the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign as Colombia's top scorer with nine goals. 2014 World Cup and friendlies Falcao scored the first goal in a 0-2 away result friendly against Belgium. On January 23, 2014, due to a knee injury, it was announced that Falcao would likely miss the World Cup. However, Falcao expressed his optimism, believing that it's possible for him to make a speedy recovery and make it in time for the World Cup. After surgery, it was confirmed that he had a 50-50 chance of making it to the World Cup in time, all in his favor if he does not rush his recovery. Falcao received tremendous support worldwide in social media for a speedy recovery. A social media movement entitled Faiza Tigre, meaning strong tiger in Spanish, rapidly grew popularity. Former teams that Falcao played for such as River Plate, FC Porto, Atletico Madrid, and current team AS Monaco, have all worn shirts and showcased banners reading Faiza Tigre in the following respective game for each team. This is following the global support that started in Colombia for a speedy recovery as all domestic clubs in Colombia followed the trend, wearing Faiza Tigre shirts as well, during warm-ups during the 2014 Superliga Colombina and opening of the 2014 Liga Postobon. 
On February 5, Falcao was included in Jose Peckerman's 30 squad list, later to be narrowed to 23 in May, for the World Cup. In March 2014, it was then reported that Falcao is expected to fully recover in two months, expected by May. Playing style and praise Falcao has been described as one of the most natural in form, goal scorers in the world. His abilities to adapt to most positions and scoring goals with various parts of his body has resulted in goals. Described as a poacher, Falcao is often labelled as a pure striker often playing as a traditional number 9 feet. His footing and curves are highly noticeable through his games regardless of distance and or positions. Falcao is well known for having a strong weak foot, left, that is on equals with his right foot, preference, allowing him to be flexible with goal scoring. Falcao controls a well-balanced pace keeping his stamina in check and allowing him to often outrun other players in the most critical moments in obtaining the ball. The strength of his shots is often well controlled, in terms of distance and angles, as shown throughout his career. While Falcao is only of average height, his header technique has given him an edge in aerial battles for balls. His most impressive goals tend to be headers, with the majority of his goals coming in the air. Falcao is said to play at his fullest capabilities only when he's under pressure and or playing against a strong team. Falcao's talents have been recognized by football players former and current, perhaps most notably by former FC Barcelona manager Pep Guardiola, who described him as sensational, and as one of the most talented in the world greater than Fabio Capello has considered him to be on the same level as Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Personal life. Falcao is a second-generation footballer, with his father Redemo Garcia having played professionally as a defender in Colombia. His name derives from the 1980s Brazil, in turn a Sinaloa Roma legend Paulo Roberto Falcao, as a tribute from his father Redemo Garcia. Despite being named Redemo, he prefers to use his middle name in interviews. Falcao is married to Argentinian singer Laura Leiteron. In early 2013, it was revealed that Falcao is soon to be expecting his first child with her. Dominique Garcia Tehran was born on August 13, 2013, at the Princess Grace Hospital in La Col, Monaco. Falcao is a Christian. Career statistics Club One includes other competitive competitions, including Portuguese Super Cup and UEFA Super Cup. International International Goals Honors Club Argentine Primera Division, 1, 2008, Primera Liga, 1, 2010-11, Taco de Portugal, 2, 2009-10, 2010-11, Portuguese Super Cup, 2, 2010-2011. UEFA Europa League, 1, 2010-11, Copa del Rey, 1, 2012-13, UEFA Europa League, 1, 2011-12, UEFA Super Cup, 1, 2012. National Team South American Youth Championship, 1, 2005. Individual South American 11, 1, 2007, Taco de Portugal top goal scorer, 1, 2009-10, Portuguese Golden Ball, 1, 2010-11, UEFA Europa League top goal scorer, 2, 2010-11, 1, 2011-12, UEFA Europa League final man of the match, 2, 2011, 2012, UEFA Super Cup man of the match, 1, 2012. FIFA 5th Pro World 11, 1, 2012. GQ Spain Sportsman of the Year, 1, 2012. Globe Best Footballer, 1, 2012. Wands de Bronze, 1, 2012. Trophy OEFE, 1, 2012. Notable Achievements Nominated for FIFA Ballon d'Or, 2, 2012. 5, 2013, 11th. Nominated for UEFA Best Player in Europe, 2-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-2012, 5-
2, 2010 11, 5th, 2011 12, 9th, Guardian ranked 6th in best 100 footballers in the world, first player in history to score a hat trick in a single legged format UEFA Super Cup, one of the few in history to score 5 goals in a La Liga match. One record of 17 goals in a European competition. 2-2 Europa League titles continuously in both the 2010 November season, FC Porto, and the 2011 December season, Atletico Madrid. Decorations Order of Boyaca, 